Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology. Today, i like to share with you that the Wing Chun Short Strike Practitioner or Short Strike Wing Chun Practitioner or the 1850s Wing Chun Practitioner or the Shaolin Short Strike Wing Chun Practitioner or Ancient Wing Chun Practitioner must use the red boat training band to train or using the uh, red boat training band equivalent to train so i'm going to go into the details with you and once for all we need to solve this for wing chun it is extremely urgent okay now yesterday i share a video on wing chun 1850 is a dynamic momentum based art it is not the general thinking of wing chun is tan bong folk techniques uh, structure, rooting, internal power, mind power, spine power, those type of art. So Wing Chun 1850, the ancient red boat Wing Chun is a dynamic momentum based art. Now I share in the video that Ri Kang who fought Xi Xiaodong share his experience when he faced Xi Xiaodong his techniques doesn't work and if you know Li Gang in China who fought Xi Xiaodong you look at his profile you see that he trained internal he trained pressure point strike he trained rooting okay so whatever you can imagine he you can see that he trained that, he demoed that in the uh, video. So he, you, can, you can check it out in YouTube that what Li Kang actually trained. So with that, you know that all those rooting, those chi sao, those uh, wooden dummy, those rooting internal pressure point strike, whatever internal power or detached power or whatever power in Li Gang's experience in the reality it doesn't work when it faced Xi Xiaodong as in Li Gang's words his technique bent out of shape and he could not attack or strike in well in the same video, we know that Li Gang is also say that Xu Xiaodong hop at him or crush into him with his body weight like a tiger. So Li Gang, whatever Li Gang have all this internal, this power, that power, it doesn't work. Well, that's the reality. Okay? So we know that MMA training get Xu Xiaodong to develop the momentum handling in angle, in level, in range. So you can look at Li Gang's uh, match with a Xu Xiaodong. You can see how Li Gang cannot take it. But in the demonstration of Li Gang's video, you see he can see, do all the things which most people or most uh, uh, Grandmaster do, okay, rooting power, uh, whatever power, internal power. So with that, we need to know that the real life since 450 years ago by General Chi Chi Guang's teaching is saying that it is momentum play. So we need to face that reality. We need to know that 
if you look into Li Gang and the Xi Xiaodong, Xi Xiaodong is more traditional Chinese martial art. Why? Because what he practiced is a court to General Qi Qi Guang 460 years ago. What Li Gang do? It is not traditional Chinese martial art anymore. All this routing and all this thing, you know, it doesn't work. So, that is for that video. Please watch it. Okay, so we speak with evidence. You know that there is a problem in Chinese martial art or in, in Wing Chun when people believe in all those kind of stuff. Which is get off track of General Chi Chi Guang. So, Red Boat Training Band is a solution after my study research for decades or study with all different teachers with decades we really need to solve the momentum handling problem and also other problem so the red boat training band is a short strike wing chun specific functional training tools okay Today, sports science, if you check on functional training tool or sport specific training tools or training, you know that today's world is already in the functional training. So if you want to play short strike, one cannot avoid, need to train with this red boat training band or equivalent. Because this is a short strike Wing Chun uh, functional training tool, specific functional training tool. It get one or it train one to be proficient with what the short strike Wing Chun's uniqueness is. Without this training, one will not be able to have the proficiency of the short strike uniqueness. So using this training tool, short strike training tools, there are two major group of training within this using this uh, training tools. The first is the, the momentum handling. Okay? Now be careful. You always have to have this uh, this this length here so that you want to pull this apart beside you pulling the, the, the strength when you train with the red book training tool okay I'm gonna to explain you what it is later on so the first thing is you train the momentum handling okay so momentum handling going in the range different range angle and level okay you use this band to train the momentum handling or your body mass multiplied by velocity handling in angle range and level in the same time you must pull this thing pull this outward okay now for example, when you go in, that is for sure is for the shoot in, in the short strike arc. When you go back, it is for changing the range and you can change the angle. Also, this is for what? Counter takedown. So how to counter it? Well, because if people take you down, you need to be able to move your entire body. So it's gonna take down my leg, I have to move, I have to be able to move this with my whole body integrate. Or I can move away in all different directions. So that is the momentum training. And you do it in the high speed and a high, velo a high speed and high strength when one is proficient with it okay of course in the beginning 
one need to do it slow until one be able to handle this momentum of one's body and then gradually in, uh, increase the speed and strength. Now, the second thing of training is this. The, the close body or the fill-in range dynamic strength handling. Again, you need to pull between these two. Okay? So well, why do you need this training for short strike? Well, the thing is, when you fill in to the opponent, they will be in the grappling range and they will be in the tangling all over here. Okay? And one need to be able to function in this range. All the hand techniques while moving, while talking. Okay? So, there is two types of training here. The one is momentum. It's going to go high speed and high intensity of strength. The second is the dynamic close body or fill in range training. Okay, the term fill in is you fill in to your opponent. You can watch this video or my book, Wing Chun Restriction. There's a, a definition there. So in soft strike, you have shoot in. shooting in to the opponent with high speed or getting out and strike him when you're getting back or go different direction that is the shoot in and fill in is when you get close to him you can use him talking and all kinds of uh, different direction of strength to uh, handling the opponent's attack Okay, so for example, today people like to grab this hand and then pick at my uh, elbow. Now, with this training, it gives one an integration of the entire body, so one be agile be able to handle what the opponent's going to do with you in the close range in different angle so it is involved throwing and everything all tripping and all this is in this uh, dynamic strength handling part so to repeat Red Bull training brand training the dynamic momentum handling forward backward angling uh, into within the angle range and level handling up and down so far okay the dynamic strength handling training the torque and to, to exert the uh, multi-directional force to handle the opponent okay so any uh, short strike Wing Chun of 1850s or Shaolin short strike one need to have that strength only if one develop this type of momentum handling one be able to face the art as Si Xiao Dong train and if one develop that one will have the uniqueness of the short strike because you handle your body in a different way with BJJ, with Western boxing, with karate. It is a Shaolin short strike and it play momentum in a different way. While your Chi Sao, your routine, your structure, your playing dummy, never get there. Okay? 
So this is the reality. My point to get this out to everybody for free to release this information, get a low cost solution, is to upgrade every wing trainers who want to practice short strike. Or else, one will end up like Li Kang who fought Xi Xiaodong. That is a reality. Nobody can avoid it. Okay? Now, some of our friends in the past few days uh, asking me, so is it the same playing with the, uh, or training with the, 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 the uh, Red Bull training band is the same with weightlifting some uh, because that uh, give you strength and then uh, kettlebell training uh, dumbbell dumbbell tr uh, training those kind of stuff or Bulgo uh, Bulgarian back training those kind of stuff so I'm going to answer that and uh, as the first part I already shared that this is a short strike uh, specific training so that is the, the, the first primary different compared with different uh, training and of course every training is good right so as in Wing Chun restriction I show that there are many tools is used like this Bulgarian bag you know uh, which is like a soft kettle bag uh, kettlebell it is good and uh, the, the thing is that the red boat training band is actually a multi-directional uh, force training or strength training. So they are different. Okay, they are different. So I let let uh, let me give you a, a, a details on what is the difference between the red board training band training compared with like the usual weight training like uh, the uh, barbell or the uh, kettlebell training okay the first thing is if you use a barbell or any weight the the, the strength you use is a one direction dominant meaning that the strength is because this is a weight the strength is uh, based on the center of gravity so if you put it down you drop down okay so with the weight you always have that characteristics now with the red bull training band you got this pull you got all different direction pull so it is a multi-directional force training okay it is the entire body multi-directional force training which is uh, in Wing Chun restrictions okay so in Wing Chun restricting this multi-direction force training or strength training which is Shaolin, okay? It's not invented by Hendrik. I just using the, the modern tools to uh, realize it or implement it. So that multi-directional strength training right now is you can get it within the uh, Red Bull training band, okay? Now, so they are different. So one is for the strength training. with a one dominant directions another one is with the multiple directional force training so they are different okay and of, of course this one multiple direction is your entire body is is uh, is integrated you use different muscle group more than just a usual weight training Okay, so uh, that is one thing. Why is the difference with the 
uh, weight training, weight, weight type of training. The second thing is a weight training is a discontinuous training. What do I mean? If I lift this thing up, I use strength. But when I put it down, I don't use that much strength anymore. Okay? So I can relax when I put it down. I, uh, when the exit falls, I tense up, down, right? Now, in the Red Bull training band, this regard, uh, I do momentum or I do dynamic strength. It is a continuous dynamic strength and velocity training because there is no discontinuity or there is no relax it's continue go it's continue go so this is the training of flow okay so it's continuous you exert strength with your speed and it go all different direction non-stop while the weight training is the discontinuity of exit force, relax. Exit force, relax. This is, as soon as you put the, the band on, it is continuous apply a force at yourself. So you, want, you don't want to do this for too long time because you're continuous to, uh, to, to have to face the force against you depend how you play with it, okay? Now, only that way one can train oneself so that the full body is integrated you play with a momentum your mass, how you, how you uh, 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 speed up yourself with your strength and so forth, okay? So, Red Bull Training Band is a continuous and weight is a discontinuous. When you tangle with your opponent, when you try to avoid takedown, when you want to shoot in, all is continuous stuff. You cannot afford one second of relax there. And of course, that is going to influence your cardio and your muscular endurance. That's why without this type of training, you will not have the cardio endurance and vascular, uh, the, the cardiovascular endurance and muscle endurance to handle the real job like playing with Xi Xiao Dong. Okay? Weight training cannot do it. Your uh, wooden dummy step techniques step techniques your chi sao relax there your mind power relax there your detached power all this on off on off on off stuff cannot handle the continuity of momentum handling or dynamic uh, strength handling not to mention it's multi-directional playing within the space of angle, range, and level. Okay? Now, the third thing different is when you have a weight, you're lifting this weight. Of course, it's doing good for your muscle and as you see in the book, I'm using the Bulgarian back too, right? for different stuff to strengthen different type of my body. However, this is the weight. When you play with this, when you play with the Red Bull Training Band, it is your own weight, your entire body integration weight you have to handle. No longer the weight outside your body. The entire body, how do you carry your body? Okay, now, so this is three major different. 
And of course, as in the Wing Chun Matrix book, I talk about the 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 the, the momentum where the, the inertia momentum one need to be able to handle the background momentum of one's body. Meaning when one body move, how to suddenly uh, turn, we need to be able to handle the integrations of the body. And also in the Wing Chun, uh, in the Restructuring Wing Chun book, we talk about the recycle of momentum. So there are a lot of handling here on this body weight in the high speed. Either you go straight, you go backward, or you go sideways, you have to handle that. Red Goat Training Band give you that training. Give you continuous training with speed and strength. So that, that's why you can handle the, uh, you can develop the, the, the momentum dynamically and the multi-directional strength in the close range training continuously. And you need this type of proficiency in order to implement the short strike where you shoot in and where you play in the field in range and when you tang tangle with your opponent or when like uh, somebody hop at you as like uh, Li Kang said, Xi Xiaodong crush in, one need to be able to move sideways, move or crush with him, those kind of stuff. If one don't never train with this kind of thing, continuously, with minutes. Okay, but then, you know, when I say minutes with a high strength and high speed, that is for those who proficient and a health condition, okay? Check with your medical doctor before play with this thing. And also, you want to use the minimum strength, like 15 pounds or anything, when you start, so that it doesn't exert, uh, how to say that, it doesn't uh, 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 injure you, okay? And if this is really uh, weak resistance, you can, you, you use it for, uh, prime up or activate your neuromuscular uh, synergy of your body or neuromuscular connectivity of your body so that is like the rehabilitate rehab works okay when one want to rehab the body and so forth so with the low resistance and low speed is like a rehab in the high speed it is a momentum and the multi-directional strength at close range training, okay? So that is the beauty of this. This one of those, you can do that. And of course, when we're using weight, it, will, it can load down our, our joints because it's weight. And also, if we never, we are not warm up properly before we use weight, we can injure ourselves. And with this, one can tune down the strength, the speed, all kind of stuff. As I just uh, explained to you, using less strength, less uh, speed, and uh, less range of motion at the beginning, so that one prime up on one's body before one go for the real shot or the high intensity stuff. Okay? So, that is what needed in today's Chinese martial art. You see, they don't have that type of training today. And this one is a solution I propose to all Wing Chuners of the... So, for the Wing Chuner of the Soft Strike Wing Chun, need this. It is a must, unless the body is conditioned. One cannot play, you cannot just standing there when other people charge in. We don't know what to do. You can say that I have a detached force or whatever force. Just watch what Li Gang talk about. 
Xu Xiaodong's attack. You see, it doesn't work. Your rooting power, your whatever, it doesn't work. If it's work, Li Gang will defeat Xi Xiaodong already. So that's the reality. Now, finally, this is a local solution. So everybody can have it. You have a door, you have a tree, you have whatever, hang it to it, you can practice it. The more you practice it, the, no, the more you know your body. Don't Wing Chun talk about sensing? Well, if one do not practice this, how can one sense one's body? Be able to use different parts of the one's body. One can. Chi Sao cannot do that. Why? Because you're standing there in a certain, certain structure. It's a, uh, that's what Bruce Lee said. Bruce Lee's letter to Taiki in 1960 saying that confinement while in the play of momentum and dynamic strength handling, there is no confinement. And it get as fast speed as it did. It go as much range in handling angle, level, and range. That's what it is. There's no confinement. So it's the same with what uh, Bruce Lee say in his letter to Taiki. 1966 freedom this is freedom but you need something to train it you cannot have a wooden dummy there you couldn't even walk close and you have to go always this and that ah oh, you want to train anything out from that and it's go bang bang oh bang 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 and then you stop no you go all the direction that's why this is so important Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, so we need to know that without this level of training, of course, one is not going to be able to perform under pressure because one never trained. Like in the swimming, one never go down to the water and swim. One can do anything one like in the, in the land, but because one never go down there or seldom go down the water, how can one swim? This is the swimming pool or the oceans for the short strike wing chun. And of course, if uh, you have uh, more money, you can afford, you can get this. You can get the ISO chain. But for most of us, it's about $26 uh, in, uh, or under $30 in Amazon. You can have this with different strength of resistant band. Okay? So you can, it come with three, four type of different strength, and then you can use it, start from the, 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 the lower strength, and when I was like, like now I'm 60, I'm not gonna be using the, the most uh, strength resistant band, I'm using the, the low one or medium one, so that I can play around. Because the idea is for me right now, is for like uh, exercising, get your body to be fluent and good, no longer I'm going to fight in the ring. But for those who is in the ring, they need to use very strong this thing, high speed. Provided you always have to prime up your neuromuscular system before you do that. Okay? So this is what I like to share with you. So Finally, I like to share with or tell or address this to all the Wing Chuners in the world. I'm not here to create problem to put down anybody. I'm here to present a solution. We know that without the solutions, based on the data of Ding Hao and Li Kang, no way you can face those uh, MMA 
trained friend. You simply don't have the training. And one cannot keep in saying that, you know, I have this qi sao can replace all this and that. I have the secret uh, techniques in the wooden dummy. It is a complete different training. You, you cannot train swimming in the land. I can get a guy here demonstrate internal power. What good is that? When the real life is momentum, close body. What good is playing your, your, your Shulian top slow, song, using the uh, uh, Tai Chi term, song, when we miss out the complete reality? So, this is a solution. If this is a low cost, I share with everybody. I don't, I'm not patenting this thing up. And so here on every wing tuners who like it can train it. The momentum, the close body, multi-directional strength. And if one want to know about more about the details, the, 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 the theory, the, 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 the practice details, it is here and is in the Wing Chun Matrix, Wing Chun Inception book. Make it easy, make it simple, make it an education.